I was about to do a video on uh, face search uh, and uh, decided to somewhat uh, slightly trim my uh, beard for scientific reasons. Nothing really to do with not being attentive uh, when I was doing it. But I thought that uh, it's actually quite a cool idea to test what happens when it comes to features such as, for example, person of interest. Do they still work when people have face masks? Do they still work if people maybe shave a beard or grow one? So this clip is all about face search and person of interest. If you're concerned about uh, face search, I wanted to remind you that as a feature, it is off by default. You have to selectively turn it on on the cameras you wish to perform this with. And again, if for any sort of reason you cannot use it at all and you want to have that peace of mind that nobody else will turn it on when you're not looking, you can go ahead and remove the feature altogether via the feature manager. The only way to re-add it is by providing an authorized letter to our support team. Uh, so you'll have that peace of mind that if this or other sensitive features, think about link sharing or uh, audio recording, are a problem, remember, use Feature Manager. Caveats aside, let's talk about face search. So face search is the ability of every camera to detect faces, create almost a QR code based on the dimensions, length, width, distance between the eyes, etc., and then compare this QR code with every other face that's been seen. So now when you click on a face, you can not only look at what the particular camera has seen, but you can search it across your entire organization. Obviously, at any point, data does not leave your organization. So from Mercada's perspective, we don't actually know who that person is. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go inside one of my cameras here, inside people, and you'll see here there is a button that I can search via photo. The, one of the cool things about face search is that actually you don't need to find the face and click on it. You can simply upload a picture. Do make sure that this picture is very, very clear. I've seen people using low resolution pictures or pictures that don't show the face well, and then they are surprised why the whole thing doesn't work. So I'm going to choose a picture with myself with a slightly more beard. Give it a go to upload. And now, as you can see, uh, it actually picks up my face without a beard. If I want to take a, a step back and search through all the cameras, all I need to do is click search all cameras. And you'll actually see me from different angles. And I actually have a uh, mix of cameras at home. So I have uh, the, the multi-sensor. So that's the uh, outdoor picture you saw from, from high above. My garden camera is uh, CD62. Uh, and indoor, I have not only a CM42, but also one of the older CM61s as well. So what can we do with this? Well, first of all, we can uh, now play around with the person of interest. I can give it a name, possibly add some tags as well. So you'll see here that as I create a profile, a brand new page is created that allows me to add additional pictures, add multiple tags, link with an uh, access control profile, and also add a license plate as well. So over the last few months, we have created a lot of cross-product functionality between access control and cameras when it comes to persons of interest. Let's set up an alert as well. This is quite timely because we have slightly revamped the uh, alerts page as well. Uh, I want uh, all cameras to alert in case myself am a person of interest. So you see here that you can actually select individuals or select via tags as well, whatever it's easier. Recipients, myself with email and text, not only the mobile app. Slight digression here, but uh, with the new alerts flow, you can actually create alerts for somebody else and you don't need to receive it yourself, which is a welcome addition. And the notification schedule, which at the moment is 24 seven, although you can obviously reduce it. Then I can click device action. And in my case, for example, I can get a horn to say a particular text, which uh, in a quiet neighborhood like mine, I'll probably refrain in uh, testing. Click next, get the alert name. And let's have a look. Okay. So we established so far that facial hair in itself does not impact person of interest and that uh, alerts 
uh, come in just a matter of seconds. But what about uh, the distance itself? So going back to one of my cameras here, I'm gonna do one more test, trying to see how far I'm actually picked up as I come from this uh, particular road. I walk very slowly, uh, just to uh, make sure I can understand whereabouts uh, the multi-sensor picked me up. Just to give you an idea, the distance between the multi-sensor and the fence here is about 14 to 15 meters. So if I look inside the face, which actually matches my POI, you'll see that I got picked up uh, just as I was crossing the street. That's over uh, seven meters away. Uh, so if I compare this with the people analytics guide, which uh, actually I made a video about it uh, just a few months back, you'll see here that I have a multi-sensor. I need to look inside the 0% zoom facial recognition. And you'll see that the expectation is that I'm picked up at a bit more than six meters. It did around seven. That means that the feature is working as intended.